amo weli hewile just no bwe o kanya michael from namisindwa district hello jen amo weli hewile pastor from moreni church of christ that is a manafa district yes i'm married uh, with eight children. Yes. What? When did you get saved? What? When did you get saved? I, I got saved, that is uh, 19, 1998. With my, with my pastor called Namabako Stephen. Actually, we went for prayer night. There, I got a sermon. It touched my heart. Then from there, I converted. I get saved. I get, I get a calling from there. Then very early in the morning, they took me for baptism, immersion. Then I get baptized and I... From there, I began that journey of salvation up to now. How was your life before? My life before, it was very bad life, actually. Uh, I was used to be that of uh, drinking, and I was so much drink of alcoholism. And uh, it is like I was always having a club where I go to attend alcohol. Uh, there was chairs whereby nobody can sit in, and uh, in that chair there is a motor. There was a, a motor called the DDO called daily drinking coffee, I cannot miss. It's a, um, I was a daily drinking coffee sir, there. And there was a motor in my chair called FFU, means Fanya Fujo on a motor. So if you was to make any struggle, we fight. So as I get saved, there is a big change that I've forgotten that and uh, I'm now living the upright life with what my- was, was there any effect of your drinking to your family, your wife, your children? By that time, I spend all the money in alcoholism, and uh, we, if, if it happened that money for buying food, money for caring the family was all spent for the alcohol, and uh, they even demanded me. But when I stopped, it gave me to have a healthy family, and uh, now my children are now at school, things are going right. So what role do you serve in your church? Uh, in the church, first of all, I began as a as a youth leader in the church. Then from now, from there, I became a youth pastor. I became an evangelist, and for now, I'm doing as a pastor, as well as an elder in the church. For I was God used me, and we have spread like five churches. So those churches now we have forty pastors. I'm now doing as an elder. Yeah. How did you get to know about MTI and what made you join MTI? Uh, MTI, I came to know it in 19, 2000, in 2000, when we came to study the book of Malachi. So my pastor told me that you can go and study. And before that, I want to thank MTI so much for before that, Getting saved found me when I when I forgotten even to write my name, and uh, I do stop it in primary four. I do not even know how to write, do anything. But when I joined the MTI, I learn in Uganda. I can speak. I do try to read the English Bible. Then from there, from there, uh, I do read and write and. Uh, I even compete with those in the courses, and I warn how to become a teacher. And they even send me to some several places, like a Kapuchorua, like a Mukono, like a Rakai, Fort Porto, to go there and teach some courses. So somebody from where I do not know how to write a name, and now I can perform all this. I thank God for that. Mm. What special memories do you have of MTI? Uh, memories of MTI. From the time you started. When did you start MTI classes? 2000. 2000. Yeah. So what special memories do you have of your journey so 
This Longo journey has helped us for the first graduate. I do it in 2005. That is the basic, and I'm now I'm pursuing my advanced certificates, which I hope tomorrow by I shall be graduating. So yes. How has it helped you prepare you going forward as a pastor or a minister? Uh, before this, before MTI, actually, we have been preaching the Bible, but now it has maintained us to, to make my career ceremonies whereby I can preach. So, and uh, this MTI courses has maintained my marriage, has maintained me, had, had maintained my evangelism, and uh, things are now going clear. Any, what units do you remember fondly? Any topics, any units that you learned there that you remember that were your favorite? Okay, my favorite, favorite topics. topics that I learned. Uh, there is a topic that is uh, that I learned with the with the with the Sean Taylor called the heart of the pastor. That that topic, heart of the pastor, touched me and it is the one that transformed my life. That changed me, the heart of the pastor changed my life and there are some courses like uh, like uh, church growth also makes me expand my mind about how the church can begin and grow so those ones so you're excited about graduation yeah i'm so much excited with the graduation tomorrow yes why it has took us long for, uh, it is only for one year program, but now since uh, the corona lockdown, it has took us like th two to three years. So to come out of it, I'm so much excited. Yes. Yes, I, I feel I am so much sharper. Um, when I go out, I'm going to do a lot especially the work of evangelism, the work of discipling, making disciples. Yes. How do you know GNPI? When did you interact first with GNPI? GNPI, uh, I joined GNPI, that is 2005. Uh, when, we, when we began working with GNPI by giving us their solar kits to go and doing evangelism in the churches outside there. So it's when I began with them. Uh, do you, have you used a solar kit before? Yeah, beginning from 2005, I got that solar kit and I, I used it, I, I, used, I have used it before. Do you, any films that you remember using? How are you, how are you using the, the solar kit? By that time, there was uh, some f films that is not now here, like uh, there is a certain film which includes Pastor John. Pastor John was, uh, was a pastor in the church and was telling people to make these crosses like they are selling, so they stole money in the baskets, that film. He was a, he was a, a, a wrong pastor. So when I took those... Uh, video to several churches, then they say, oh, we have now learned those antichrist pastors. So people are now asking for it, and it is no more. Being again in Alpha. Being again in Alpha, you still have it. Yeah. Yes. So you can make it, and um, people are much willing to yes. watch that video. So, so basically, it was the solar kit helpful to you? The solar kit has helped a lot, anyway, uh, more especially to the youths. There are some videos for the youth. When they watch those, it has bring more impact, and the youth has changed out of those from those videos, youth videos. And uh, there was that of like a, like a, Ndume, Ndume Alice has helped the, the, the men in the church, the elders have changed a lot, has brought an impact, impact in the church. Yes. Have you been using it for discipleship, or you use it? Entertain the church. How do you use it? Uh, for us, me, I just use it as I told you before that I'm an evangelist. I just use for evangelism. Mm. How do you do it? 
go door to door? Do no, we go to gatherings where people gather, like we say. Here we preach the, the gospel like uh, crusades, then after preaching, even we told them that we shall have a video show here. Those all people come and watch, and from there we begin preaching them the gospel. Then there are some people get saved, and uh, some get baptism, like that. Hmm. Do you have any comments, any words to GNPI? Yes. Uh, actually, GNPI has been uh, supporting the ministry so much. Uh, it is our, sometimes we risk by carrying this uh, solar kit. So I just uh, say if it happened that uh, it has its own means of transport whereby you cannot risk walking, walking, walking. If, it, if it's uh, some finance support that anybody can use a pitch, just coming and going, that can make us not risk life. Yes. Any words of appreciation? We do, I do appreciate GNPI so much for the work they are doing. And uh, may, it, may God bless this ministry and uh, may it stand forever helping to support this ministry. More especially MTI. Thank you so much. Thank you. Too, okay, please. We appreciate it for your time. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm.